You know, I was really, really excited for um, the ability to control my car um, when it came out. I, that and it has absolutely changed the entire dynamic of racing, and in my opinion, completely changed the game. Welcome, everybody, back to another Upland Players podcast. Today, we have a very special treat. It's the one and only, the man, the myth, the legend, the speedster himself. It's Mass Chef. Mass Chef, thank you for coming on, and how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Uh, thanks for having me. Really appreciate you bringing me on the show, and uh, really excited to talk about racing. Yeah, so you're a big racer, and from what I understand, you're one of the top dogs to beat right now over in the Upland Racing League. Um, yeah, you, I guess you could say that. I mean, we've got a lot of really good racers in there and it's only gonna be a matter of time before they, they catch up to me and, and start passing me up. And, uh, you know, cause I, one of the things that I've noticed by, you know, jumping around in some of the other servers as well is, is that there is a ton of really good racers out there. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so I, it's only going to be a matter of time. You know, I, I, I'm, I consider myself to be pretty good, but, uh, you know, there's some people that are coming right behind me. And of course, by being good, you always get the X on your back. So everybody's targeting you. You when are you, the target. When, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's gunning for you. Right. Yeah, for sure. So for those players that may not know that, Hey, wait a minute, there's racing in Upland. There's an Upland racing league. Uh, what is this? Yeah. Uh, will you just share a little bit about what you guys are, uh, what league you're participating in and how it works? Yeah, actually. Um, so it's, it's great. So Upland racing league is, um, not just racing. Um, it's not just what we're trying to do anyway. You know, we want to, we, want upland racing league to be more of a a marketplace uh for other racers and leagues and car owners and and you know people that have legit shops and and you know uh hopefully the new um racing legits that are coming out you know we want to we want to promote ev anything racing is is what we're there for um you know we have our we have our four seasons we do a season a quarter um for our for our top racing league um and you know it, it's a lot of fun we're bringing in really big um sponsors we're we're paying out uh tons of upics every race and and the idea is to that we want to bring more people in that the the main goal is to get more people's attention on racing because i really believe uh that it's the next big thing in upland and i think that it's really going to be uh huge yeah yeah i'm with you i actually bought a series 1s uh or s1 rather sorry s1 yeah 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 and uh blue matches my eyes I'm very excited about it nice, uh, nice but i did it because of the lane changing the braking uh um, yeah. the boosts how has that changed racing for you oh it's it's honestly be you know we didn't have all that during our uh, our champion series that um, when we were racing the s1rs uh we did a test season uh just a six race test season you know, kind of getting the mechanics and stuff down, getting the podcast down, that kind of thing, um, you know, for live streaming, because, uh, you know, I'm sure you know that live streaming can be a headache sometimes, yes. you know, nothing ever seems to go right. The technical stuff has the, you know, <laughs> comes into so play, true. you know, so you got to, every you know, every once in a while, you got to improvise and do some crazy stuff on online and, you know, whatever, and kind of make time go by. And, you know, we do that very well. But I've got to tell you, um, you know, I was really, really excited for, um, the ability to control my car um, mm -hmm. when it came out I, that and it has absolutely changed the entire dynamic of racing. And in my opinion, completely changed the game because now uh, you, there's some strategy to it. You know, you got to know when to hit the boost. You got to know when not to, you got to learn the tracks. You've got to learn where the fast lanes are, where to, you know, where to make lane changes, mm -hmm. how to pass people, all those things. And, and, you know, it's cool that there's a brake button on there, but in my opinion, there's a big ed, red, red X through it because if you hit the brake, you're going to lose. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I am not about brakes. <laughs> I mean, that's why you're the that's why you're the champion right now, right? <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, you know, we were able to, you know, like you said, that the the series that we did last season um, without all of that controls, it was fun. It was exciting. We had a great time. Um, you know, I, I, I came in uh, second place for overall for that season, uh, won a ton of upics because we were giving away something like 
six million outpicks during the course of the season. Um, you know, so it was it was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. This season has really brought out the best in in racing, and it's you know the the mechanics have brought out the best in racing, in my opinion, for Upland. It's just a it's a game changer, absolute game changer. Yeah, I don't know if I'm speaking out of turn here, so I might get in trouble for this, but the the braking. What is coming is physics, so that you'll actually yep. if you don't take a corner right, you'll drift and uh, it'll yeah, mess yeah. You up. So, but yeah, and and you know, I and I can't wait for that to come too. I you know, I, I as far as I'm concerned, the more control that you have, the better you have to be, uh, and the more fun it is. I, you know, that's just my, my opinion, though, of course. So um, let's get into some tips for players. Yeah, on for racing. sure. I'm I myself. I just got my S one. I'm jumping in. The AI is crushing me at the moment. Yep. What is the first tip that you would give me to imp- that would most improve my racing overnight? Um, the biggest tip I can give you is learn the tracks because there are fast lanes, there are slow lanes, and then there are stop lanes. And my what I is what I call them because mm-hmm. you get into certain lanes depending on where you are at the track. Some lanes are really going to slow you down. Um, you know, I found that that every single track out there that's made right now has a fast lane um, and it might be, you know, depending on the track, depending on where you're at on the track, it could be the far left lane. It could be the center lane. It could be the far right lane. So you really have to learn the tracks and the more you, the more you go around them, the more you will find where those fast lanes are. And you kind of have to, I, I pay attention to how fast the, the center line is going, right? If the oh, center line starts to slow down, then I know that I need to change lanes because I'm not in the fast lane anymore. Um, Interesting. And, yeah. So, uh, you know, and, and another thing that, that I noticed that, that uh, the biggest mistake that people make is they try to take the corners on the inside. And although that, that is technically what you want to do, but if you actually pay attention to racing, they don't start the corner on the inside. They start the corner actually on the outside and, yeah, move and they to loop the, into it and they loop into yeah. the corner on the exit. Um, and I find that, uh, you know, that makes a lot of sense. And it, it's almost like that mechanic is automatically built into the new racing mechanics that are there. Um, because I find that I take out corners a lot faster when I start from the outside of the corner and work my way to the inside as I go around and not try to take the corner first you know, before you hit it. Um, so when you say uh, learn the fastest lanes now throughout a track, it's not necessarily going to be one lane. That's the fastest on every section or is that the case? No, that is actually not the case. Um, again, it depends on where you're at on the track because mm-hmm. um, there's some tracks where the, the left two lanes are faster. So, it, you know, so you have five lanes to work with, right? You've got the center lane and you've got the two lanes on either side of it, right side, left side. Um, some tracks, it's going to be the, the center lane and the left two. Some tracks, it's going to be the center lane and the right two. Um, there's a couple of tracks out there where it's the far left, you know, or the far right, depending on where you are in the track. So that's why I say it's really important to, um, get in there, run some races, run some races with your friends and really start to learn these tracks because the only way that you're going to get competitive with the new way that they're rolling with the tracks now is, is to know them. And, and, you know, it's just like, you know, you would go out if you were if you were racing for real, you're going to want to know what the track is. You know, those guys spend hours and hours and hours watching film and and training on, you know, when to when to break, when to change gears, when to you know what lane they want to be in to take a corner. And the same thing applies here. You really have to know, you know, you if you've got two left corners coming up, you know where you need you got to know where you need to be to to take Mm -hmm. those corners and, and, and maintain your speed. Even, I mean, that's great that you say that because even I mean before like a qualifying round, racers will walk the track as a team. Yeah. And so the mm-hmm. shows you the importance there. What about boosting? What tips do you have for boosting? Um. So you got to be very careful with boosting, and and I'm I've been kind of experimenting with boosting a little bit because one thing I noticed, obviously, you can't take a very sharp corner with boosting. Mm. You're just gonna die. It, mm. It's almost like hitting a wall. Um, because you can't make the adjustments going around the corners fast enough. So, um, you know, I try to take boosting in and I try to boost when people least expect it. Um, I've been practicing boosting going around corners. 
Um, I try not to boost if it's more than 90 degrees because there's a lot of the, you know, a lot of the hairpin turns that mm. obviously you don't want to boost on. Um, you know, uh, one example I can give is the uh, Gilded Gamers, <clears throat> excuse me, the Gilded Gamers racetrack um, in L.A. That one is, first of all, it's got like some ridiculous amount of turns, like 47 turns in it. Wow. <laughs> and, you know, it, it's a it's a little over a two mile track. It's a very fast track. Hmm but it's got a ton of turns and and, and in my opinion one of the most genius uh developments of that track is the fact that there is a little tiny s right before the finish line and if you try to boost through that s you hit a brick wall it really stops you almost immediately so you've got to be pay attention to that kind of stuff pay attention to where you are on the track because any boost happening before that little s turn and you're done they're going to pass you no no problem even even after you boost so you know just just it, it takes practice it takes a lot of uh understanding what, what you know what's going on on the track so do you hold on to your boosts for the end of the race do you use them at the beginning of the race to get a jump start you know honestly uh it kind of depends um if i'm running pole position i generally will save at least one um toward you know to to use towards the end of the race if I'm out of pole position and I know, depending on the track, I know that the lane that I'm in is not the fast lane. Um, a lot of times I'll hit a boost coming right off the start just so I can get get my car over into the fast lane. Um, but, you, yeah, I mean, it, everybody seems to have a different strategy. Um, you know, I've, I've ran a couple of races where I will use a boost just to make somebody else use theirs. Oh, um, I like you, that, know, yeah. it, you, you know, and it, especially if I'm in front of them. You know, if I'm in front of them and I know that they're holding a boost and I'm holding one, too, I may use it to stay in front of them and 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 block them trying to come around me. Right. You know, when they because they're going to use theirs as soon as I use mine just to keep up with me. And typically because they've they've it takes a second or two to react to somebody using a boost. Like if somebody in front of me boosts. I react and I hit my boost. Now my boost is going to run just slightly longer than theirs because I, I hit it after they did. So Mm -hmm. you can catch up to some, you can actually pass somebody on the end of their boost. If you hit your boost, right. So, you know, it, it, there's a ton of strategy in boosting. I, you know, and, and uh, you got to really pay attention to what you're doing and, and pay attention again, position on the track is everything. Hmm. What I've learned here is I'm boosting wrong yeah <laughs> <laughs> like, yep i'm doing it wrong yeah, yeah wow yeah so i've you know here here recently I, i've been trying to practice boosting around corners because obviously people don't boost around corners very often because you can you know one wrong move and like i said you're hitting a brick wall and you're done you know somebody's going to pass you so i i've been spending the last week probably practicing boosting around corners and how to make corners with a boost going and uh I, I gotta say, I, I, I'm not sure that it was any that it's anything that I would actually try in a competition race right mm. now, um, just because it's not quite perfected yet. But you know, uh, and then obviously, you know, boosting when somebody least expect it is is the best thing to do. You know, if you can find a spot where where people don't normally boost or nobody's going to expect a boost, then that's a great spot to hit one. This is going to, uh, how about lane? So we've talked about like finding the fastest lane mm-hmm. how about lane management, as far as making sure you're in front of someone, cutting them off, trying to get around someone. Yeah. Any tips there. Um, you know, not really. Um, you know, it, it's hard to just because of the, of the way the cars kind of react. Um, you know, when you come up behind somebody, the first reaction is, you know, you kind of, it, it's almost like your car bumps the back of them a little bit and it slows you down a little bit. So it kind of pulls you off the rear of their car. Mm. Um, and I've also noticed that if somebody is coming up right next to you, they don't have to have, you know, basically they just have to have the, the print of the car and not necessarily the car next to your car before you can't change lanes anymore. So another mm. strategy, you know, that's that works really well is if you are, you know, for instance, there's uh, the Blueys Raceway, right? It's it's basically a, a, a big oval. You know, it's it's a big, big square that you just go around the block for the most part. And there's a fast lane on that track. And and there's actually two fast lanes. And that's, you know, if you if you can get the inside fast lane on that track, you can you actually can make 
a shorter time going around because you're you're making a little bit of time up on them every every lap as you go around the inside of them. Um, but you can also stay next to them and keep them from from getting into that fast lane by not allowing them to to, to have the wow. space to move over. So yeah, there's a you know there's <laughs> Working out lots of strategies, <laughs> yeah. lots of strategies, and giving yeah. them all away, giving them all away here live to everybody. This so, is the target. So, uh, the target's on your back. Everyone's taking notes. I would hope so, and, and honestly, I really do hope that people are paying attention. And you know, anybody that wants to get into racing, I hope they're 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 watching. I want people to get better. I want the competition to get better. URL wants the competition to get better. Um, only because that that it makes it more exciting it makes it more fun it makes it yeah. i don't want i don't want to go out there and be the winner every time yeah i right. want some competition and you know and, and after like i said after the last week or so jumping in and out of some other servers and racing with some other folks um there's competition out there and there's some good good racers uh, that are oh. not necessarily in, in url yeah, that's so exciting. Racing for me is, is going to be a highlight uh, in Upland. I'm very excited for what's coming there for sure. And yeah. Just because of that, the entertainment factor of even just watching real, like I love watch game stream streamers because I like watching really high level gameplay. Um, yeah. You know, Halo, for instance, uh, or Call of Duty or, or even Forza. So Forza Motorsport has their racing league and those guys yeah. whew, are amazing. Oh yeah. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a huge Forza fan. I've been yeah. playing Forza for years and years and years. Yeah. I'm a huge, I'm, I'm just a huge car fan in general. I love cars. I love racing. I've been watching it since I was a little kid. I grew up in Ohio. Um, of course we had the Bobby Ray Hall racing team when I was growing up and, and, you know, those guys are still racing now, but it's all his kids instead of him, um, <laughs> you know. So, you know, and I think I've got something like, I don't know, four or five thousand cars in my Forza garage. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, it, it, yeah, it's awesome. Love it. not, the, and Forza does it. The amazing thing that Forza does is every car when you drive it feels different. And I oh, have yeah. no idea how they do that with a controller, but mm -hmm. it's mind boggling. Oh, it is. It, it, yeah, it just blows you away. Uh, I made the mistake of trying thinking like, oh, I'm getting pretty good at Forza here. I'm going to jump into some uh, online play here and do one of their seasons. And I got crushed. Crushed. Yep. Crushed. But, but yep. You have to tr same thing there. Track management you or yeah. track knowledge. You have to know every track. So oh, well. for sure. For sure. And, and, you know, the same thing translates over into Upland on their tracks, too. And, and you know, at the rate tracks are coming out right now. Yeah, it's going to be hard. It, you know, it's going to be hard to remember, you know, what lanes you're supposed to be in on what tracks. And, and, you know, we publish our tracks that we're, you know, that we're using for the seasons uh, prior to the season starting. So we want people to go and make sure that they're practicing on those tracks and, and getting their best times down. And, you know, we want people to, you know, jump on the server and, Hey, I, you know, I posted an X time, you know, you know, and it, cause it just really, brings that much more excitement to the game yeah a amen how about camera tips how do you race when you're competitive racing do you use like the overhead camera are you inside the car versus like practice like is there a difference between practice and competitive or um, manage camera yeah so I, I actually i race from from uh the the rear car view while i'm practicing and i race overhead when i'm in competition hmm. so i do the helicopter view when i'm in competition just because i like to see more of the track and see because it gives you an opportunity to see who's coming up behind you who you're coming up on those types of things um but i usually practice the track in in car view um because i learn the turns better and i learn the fast the fast lanes better um mm. when i do that it makes sense you talked about looking at that middle line you could probably see it better see the yes. speed that is yes better. absolutely yep very cool uh top three favorite tracks for you at the moment oh top three favorite um number one has got to be hb industrial um i think it's a it's a great track um it's very technical track there's a lot of lane changes that happen in that track because the fast lane changes depending on where you are in the track. You, um, so sometimes you have to be in the left lane. Sometimes you got to be in the right lane. Uh, and, and it's just a very technical track. I, I love it. Uh, favorite track. Number two is, is quickly grown on me. has got to be cheese's breezeway. Um, 
that is just a cool track. It's got great views. Um, being right in the middle of Roxdale uh, in the More Cheese Node is it, it, it's it's awesome to race uh, race there. Um, and uh, you know, it's it's definitely number two on my list of favorites. And then um, I think number three. Uh, there's probably a tie for number three because uh, I really like the Gilded Gamers track. I think it was um, very well planned out and very well done. And then I also like the Kingdom track, um, you know, for, uh, with uh, uh, Abdullah. I think that track is, you know, just the, the node is built out so big. And again, it's a, it's a nice technical track, lots of turns, lots of lane changes. you got to know where you're supposed to be there. So that, that probably rounds out my tops. Excellent. Um, I've not checked out Guild of the Gamers. I'll have to check that racetrack out. That's yeah. Oh, it's a it is it is a fun track, and that and and that's the one that's got like I said, it's got like forty seven turns in it. Yeah, that's it, crazy. It, yeah, it's huge. It's a it's but it's cool. a it's a very fun track. Yeah. So for those that we've talked a little bit about your racing season uh, right now happening, there's a current season going on right now, correct? That is correct. Yeah, we're uh, getting ready to go into race number two tomorrow. Um, yeah, we'll be racing at the uh, uh, Palmer Park Raceway uh, tomorrow at 1700 UCT time. So I would love to go through that because I don't think a lot of players know that, that there's this. It's it's very well done the way you guys do your racing leagues. But Thanks. Uh, so in the current season, you have 12 racers, correct? Correct. We have 12 racers, um, all sponsored by either spot, you know, some sort of, uh, in, you know, we have a couple of, uh, real world sponsors that are sponsoring some drivers, <clears throat> excuse me again. And then, uh, um, we have a lot of in-game sponsors that are working with us as well, uh, to run those races. And yeah, so we have 12 drivers. Um, uh, we run the season on 10 tracks. So we have 10 races that run for the season. Hmm. Um, we did the first race, uh, two and a half weeks ago. We got this race number two coming up tomorrow. And then we're going to run uh, basically eight weeks straight um, every Friday. Uh, we'll, we'll run the rest of the races through the season. And so the, the way the races work, you guys have a qualifying round for each race and then or qualifying right, so the, and then the actual race happens. Yeah. Right? So there's so there's three heats. We break it. We, we have two qualifying heats. The top three racers in each heat move on to the final. Uh, the the best part about it is every racer, regardless of finish, wins Upix. Every racer, because we have uh, you know all uh, all the sponsors that we have um, have really stepped up, and you know we've made it so that that even last place is getting something. Um, so you know once you get through the whole season, um, you, you can <clears throat> really do very well. And so. What is that? What is the prize money? Do you know that off the top of your head? So right now, um, first place on every race is getting paid a hundred thousand epics. Every, every wow. race, every first place racer gets hundred thousand epics. I think second place is somewhere around eighty five thousand, and then it goes down from there. To, to last place, I think is maybe four or five thousand epics. But uh, yeah, we're uh, the the total prize pool for the pro season is like three million or something. Two, that's cool. 2.8 million or something like that. And yeah. so these happen every Friday. And one of the cool things you guys stream them every yes. single Friday. Yeah, we stream live. Um, we're, we're live streaming now on uh, real note, LA spatial theater. We're going to be streaming this Friday coming on board is going to be the uh, board uplanders uh, spatial area. And then we also stream live on Twitch and simulcast on YouTube as well. Excellent. And this is, and sorry, this season, I don't think we clarified this is, uh, what class of car is this season? So this this season, we call it our Pro Series season, um, and we run uh, S1Es mm -hmm. on this season. So it's a 12 S1Es going at it full full bore, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so not everyone can get an S1E. Uh, will you be running seasons for lesser, for other vehicles? So, other yeah, so, well, we, we plan as far as URL is concerned. So we, the way that we work is, is – um, this season we started a uh, relegation and promotion system. Mm. Um, so obviously we have the champion season, which is S one R's. Those are the, the, you know, we want eventually as we get through the, the different seasons, we want the very best racers in the S one R series, right? Mm. Cause that's the series that we run in the spring. Uh, we finish it up on Genesis week. Um, and, you know, so we want the top racers in that season. So, 
through the rest of the seasons, we've gone into a relegation and promotion system where the this season, the top two S1E drivers will move on to the S1R class. The bottom two S1E drivers will move down a class. Um, and then that will make room for the next class down to move their top two drivers will move up into the S1Es and so on. And so we actually – uh, started off with carts. You know, we're going to have, you know, we're, we're going to have our first ever cart season, I believe in Q2 of next year. Um, you know, so we're looking forward to, uh, you know, player created carts and we're looking forward to, you know, really having some fun with that and getting people more involved into the racing. And then on top of that, there are so many racing leagues going on right now. Um, and we want to be, in collaboration with those guys, this is not a, you know, this is not a league competition in any way, shape or form. You know, we want to, you know, I go race in, in the ULU GT league. I go race in the, uh, you know, the Tolton group and, and a couple of others and, you know, and, and promote those communities. And, and I just started doing uh, uh, community spotlights or racing spotlights on the, uh, on the metaverse racing news network. And, and promoting these other racing leagues and these other communities so that we can all kind of get together. Cause the, in my opinion, the more racers you have, um, the better the pool is when it comes time to the, you know, when it comes to the big time. Yeah, no, a thousand percent correct. I mean, it's why that you have division one football and you have division three football. It's, the, yeah. uh, you know, you get the best competition when there's more, it's just a numbers game. So that's right. exciting. I love, I love your guys' relegation system. I love the way you guys have this mapped out, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing how the seasons progress. Yeah, yeah, it's it, it, super exciting. Really, yeah, really, really having a good time with it. Well, awesome. Mass Chef, hey, thank you very much for taking the time today. I appreciate it. Um, for anybody interested in learning more about racing, in getting involved in the leagues and the different leagues, uh, where can they follow you? Where can they watch you? Where can they connect well, other than, you know, just uh, they can follow us on, on obviously, all of our uh, broadcast uh, channels when we're racing. They can hit us up on the URL Discord server. Uh, I'm always around. They can hit, you know, they're feel free to, you know, they can DM me. They can, you know, I, I'm pretty available. Hunt me down in-game. Uh, my in-game name is Mass Chef as well. So, uh, you know, I'm pretty easy to find um, and, and happy to help and, and, you know, bring more people into the leagues and not just the URL leagues, but all the leagues. You know, you know, the more we have, the better it's, it is and the, the more fun we all have. So excellent. And we'll link again all of all the links in the description below. So make sure you guys check it out. Mass Chef, thank you very much. Appreciate taking the time today. And, and hey, good luck at the, with the rest of your season. Awesome. Thank you so much. I uh, really appreciate it. Yep. Uh, everybody, if you like this, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to this channel. Also, let us know in the comments, who would you like us to talk to next? Love sitting down and talking with everybody from the community. Um, valuable tips today. My racing is going to improve now. I feel it. Rock on. So. Let's go. <laughs> we'll see you guys <laughs> next time. Bye-bye. We'll see you on the track.